Hey guys, today I'm doing something different. I'm going to do a Leica versus iPhone. It's not going to be the latest iPhone versus the Leica M11. Today we're going to do a vintage Leica versus an oldish iPhone. As you know, I love film photography and I value film and I don't really value digital. But after doing this experiment, let me know at the end which do you prefer, film or digital. Hey guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. Most of the photos you'll see in this video are shot with the Leica 1C and the Orion 15-28F6 lens as I run around or walk around Gdansk. It's a really small camera so it fits nicely into your pocket. I also shot a few photos with the Leica 2F and a Summitar lens. I use the KEKS uh, 28mm Plastic Fantastic Finder just to make my setup smaller and lighter for running around. Okay, let's get into the photos. So it's about seven o'clock in the morning, I think about March minus one degrees and me running slash walking across about two or three different days. Uh, originally I was shooting it on film and I decided it might be nice to start shooting it on film and with the iPhone to see how they compared. There's quite a lot of regeneration in Gdansk, Poland and this little building surrounded by modern buildings really caught my attention. And so I was trying to frame it up and get a line in with the, the bins and I tried a few different angles to try to see what might work the best. If you want to play along with this video, put a sticker or something over the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And then you can try and guess whether the photos are shot with film or digital, i.e. digital being the mobile phone. And if you don't want to play along, you can just see from the icons in the, the bottom corner. And here you can see what's left of the old buildings and then all the, the new buildings being built around them. I was feel like as a photographer I should capture this before all the old buildings are gone to try and record some of it and kind of how it used to be before everything's modern and uh, yeah modern hotel blocks. Uh, these is parts of Gdansk that I've not been to before so it's kind of first time seeing it and anything that caught my attention I would shoot away on film and as I say the mobile phone. The mobile phone is obviously 28mm and the lens is 28mm so it gives roughly the same view although it depends if I shot the uh, mobile phone is standard format or 16 by 9 format. I like the contrast the water is giving and the, the various shapes and the line in from the railings so I tried a few different shots and there's me using a slow shutter speed to try to blur the train. As I was near the train tracks I kind of had to wander around to see what else I could find. Uh, you can't really do this in the UK because there's normally lots of fencing so I guess it was the novelty factor and also I'm old enough to remember this a little bit when my kids and dad used to take us to the, the railways to, to watch the trains going past. Back now into the city centre. Again I think it's the contrast and the leading lines that caught my attention. Again I love the old buildings and then as you see on the right hand side the new buildings going up alongside the old I think they're old mills in Gdansk. Uh, you can see flare there from the film lens being shot towards the sun. This is in one of the underpasses and so I tried to wait until that guy or a guy went into the frame uh, at the end to, to kind of get the line in and something to look at. Uh, I liked the daylight and mix of the like tungsten lights. I was interested to see how much the lens would flare so interesting there's also some flare from the iPhone. Back now into the city centre, you can see the Gdansk tourist boat going past and you can get some nice shots along the river from some of the bridges, so this is one of the bridge shots. And then I like the, I think the contrast of the white steakhouse writing on the, the black wood. And so again I tried a few compositions with lines in and different angles to try to work, work out what suited me best. I think the high contrast works better for this, uh, as with many other photos. Okay, this is I think day two or day three, and so I'm using the 2F with the like a Summitar 5cm f2 with the yellow filter. Stop this lens down a bit and it's crazy sharp. Uh, I have done a full video on this, and on the top was a TT Artisan light meter. I think in these photos the film camera really kicks ass where in some of the others, let me know in the comments, but I think the mobile phone had the advantage. I think this composition is better. I waited for the little lady to come past. Back now to Gdansk city centre. I thought I'd do a few token boat shots. I have shot them before 
uh, watch my Voigtlander 90mm video if you want to see more from uh, Gdansk. This is now into the old shipyards. I love this graffiti, so again, I was trying to do some different angles to see what may work best. And um, I was trying to stand on a rock in the car park to get high enough to, to get the right angle. Uh, again, I think high contrast works well. And um, with graffiti, you never know how long it's going to be there, so I think it's nice to capture it. This is right in the middle of the dockyards where all the factories are working. Uh, if you go early in the morning, there's not normally too many people around. And there you can, that's a classic shot of the dockyard cranes from the bridge. Uh, now it's time for more bridges. I'm a big fan of bridges and lines in general. So I had a wander around above the bridges and also below the bridges to see what I could get. Um, I think the contrast always catches my eye and a combination of the geometric shapes uh, I was trying to work out which angles to, may work the best. Uh, you can see the wider angle of the mobile phone work better for some of those. That's the bridge without sun. That's the bridge with sun and obviously in colour. <laughs> I'm trying to mix landscape photography with running and I'm starting to get a bit more picky with the weather. It's really cloudy today. Well, you can't really see it. Lots of cloud. I saw the bridge completely illuminated with the light and then my phone ran out. <laughs> Tried to change my phone really quickly and then the sun went in and then I've been waiting for about 10 minutes for the clouds to go over. So this lights up against the dark background and then I can continue my run. Uh, it's slightly more difficult when it's like minus one <laughs> and I've got less ideal clothing because um, I packed light, but uh, all good fun. Here's mobile versus mobile, color versus black and white. Let me know what you prefer. And then film, obviously black and white film versus black and white mobile. Uh, the yellow and blue did work really well, but I had black and white film loaded, so that's what I was limited to. These photos are on HP5 and Trix, if I remember rightly. I like the graffiti under this bridge, and so I was just trying to get a few different angles to see what may work best. Again, I think the mobile slightly wider look works better. Here I waited for the train and I was pretty happy with this shot. This is probably one of my favourites of the, the whole session. And I love this tiny little old building dwarfed by the, the new tower block. If you want to join me on one of my photo walks, uh, sign up to the mrliker.com blog newsletter. If you played along at home, let me know if you could tell the difference between film and digital. What is your preference? Do you think film is worth all that extra effort? The biggest difference for me was probably the contrast and the sharpness. The Orion 15 is a vintage lens with a lower contrast and if you prefer a more perfect and modern rendering for your film camera, check out some of these other 28mm lenses next.